No. 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 A few weeks ago, I was trying to figure out an idea for an awful Skyrim challenge. And that's when I saw this video and a light bulb went off in my head. Is it possible to beat Skyrim with only your mouse? What would that even look like? I wasn't sure if it was possible, but as the man of science I am, I figured the best way to figure it out is by loading into the game and trying it out myself. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Okay. This is where the crux of the challenge comes in. We need to be a Khajiit for reasons that you'll, you'll see soon. What is our, uh, what's our character going to be? Paul, the keyboard list. Okay, let's follow the captain. The timer starts as soon as we get control of our character. Hold. Hold. And. Go. Um. So, the, uh, the challenge is impossible. Great. Glad that we got that, uh, that understood. Can't beat the challenge. Time to, uh, to call it a day. We have to give ourselves a grace period. The, uh, the only way that this challenge is possible is if we get out of our binds. We're gonna, we're gonna sprint, sprint to Helgen Keep. That's when the, the challenge really begins. Okay, now the challenge begins. Now that we're out of our binds, we've got some big decisions to make. You see, this challenge would be super easy if I went out and bought some crazy gaming mouse with 20 buttons on it. But no, I'm stuck with my Razer mouse that I bought back in 2016 that somehow is still alive and kicking. With it, I'm limited to five buttons, left, right, and middle click, along with two side buttons. There are five actions that we need to be able to do in Skyrim, attack, activate, open both menus, and finally shout. If we bind these five actions to the five buttons we have, we'll be able to do everything required to complete the main quest. Or so I thought. For now though, these are the actions that we bind to our mouse buttons, and we begin our challenge with making our way out of Helgen. With my escape button, which is middle click, we will get out of this menu and the challenge can begin. Okay? Escape. Escape. Okay. No more, no more keyboard. Everything is the mouse now. Okay? This is how we're gonna need to uh, to move throughout this entire game. Obviously we can't use W uh, because we don't have room for it on our mouse. So we have to do this. Boom. That's it. It's gonna be a little bit slow, okay? It's gonna take a while. And take a while it does. Every time we power attack, we need to wait about five seconds for our stamina to regen. And each time, we only take a single step forward. So with one step every five seconds, we begin the longest Helgen escape ever. Oh my god. No. My worst enemy. Archers. <laughs> I can't I can't I can't fight back. Okay, don't worry. I'll I'm gonna get you. Just you wait. Hadvar, do something about that, okay? Thank you. Everyone shut up. Shh. <laughs> Stop looking at me. Uh okay, I think that we're safe now. I think that we've we've traveled far enough that we don't need to worry about the bear. Okay. And he went back to sleep. Everything is fine. I don't think so. We've done it. We've done it. And just like that, we finally escape Helgen in just over an hour. Now that we're out, we need to take a quick trip to Riverwood, but thankfully it only takes us about half an hour to punch our way there. 
We head into the blacksmith's house to tell the locals about the dragon and take all of their supplies, but the main thing we're here for is food. More specifically, we're looking for four food items. Cabbages, leeks, potatoes, and tomatoes. With those four infinity vegetables, we're able to combine them to give us ultimate power, aka vegetable soup. Okay, vegetable soup. This is it. Boom. Okay, for 720 seconds after eating this, we can power attack as much as we want. This is huge. With our newfound power, we're able to go much faster than before. Instead of one step every five seconds, we're now able to move about three steps every five seconds, which is practically a sprint now. We go find Feindall, and after starting a relationship based on lies, he's willing to be our follower. This means that we've got our own ranger to attack ranged enemies for us, and combat isn't as scary now. So with Feindall in tow and vegetable soup in our veins, we begin the long journey to Whiterun. My, my brain works in, in beautiful and mysterious ways. 33 times 3 doesn't make 99. Let's talk about that. See, it's only been like, what, three minutes since we left Riverwood and we're already this far? You guys, you guys couldn't comprehend the secrets that are, that are stored away in this thing about the universe. Man, Feindall must be really annoyed with us. It's called, it's called, uh, investing, you know? This is, when, when you sub to me, you're like, it's almost like you're buying a house. You know, it only, it only accumulates in value. Um, these look like potatoes, maybe? Okay, we got a bunch of potato plants here. Awesome. I don't really remember what carrots look like. I think that these are leeks. Oh, my, my vegetable soup ran out. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Okay, finish grabbing these. Now let's fast travel back here. Get the uh, the rest of them. Oh. I know you're kind of in a weird spot. No, I just, I just wanted to, to move past you. I didn't. No. Um, we're gonna head this way. White run. White run. It only took two hours and thirty nine minutes. Okay. Fast travel to Riverwood. I just. Guys, I just lost the challenge. I pressed M on my keyboard. <laughs> just kidding, my keyboard's unplugged. <laughs> I am so smart. Uh, okay, fast travel back to Whiterun. If you're wondering why we fast traveled to and from Riverwood, it was for a couple of reasons. The first is that it lets us regain our stamina as you always regen to full after a fast travel. The second and more important reason is that fast traveling passes time. Without our R key, fast traveling is the quickest way to wait for shops to open. You know, rather than just standing outside creeping in the windows of Bellator's general goods. So first on the menu for Whiterun is heading into the Drunken Huntsman, which is the closest building that has a cooking pot in it. We make two more vegetable soups here, and now we reach the great limiter, tomatoes. Do you want to know something cool about tomatoes? Nobody in Skyrim grows them. There are potato, cabbage, and leek farms, People grow gourds and wheat. One lady even grows Nernroot, but there's not a single tomato crop in Skyrim. How do they get them? Do they import all of their tomatoes? Do storks bring them to the merchants? What I think is that the tomatoes are a government psyop created by the Thalmor to sedate the Skyrim population. Sorry, I think the punching is just getting to my head. Carlotta in the town square sells tomatoes, and if we do requests, we'll be able to take them for free. So we head into the Bannered Mare to teach Mikael to leave her alone. Um, okay, Mikael, you better stop harassing Carlotta before you get some claws to the face, buddy. All I heard was a sound of jealousy. <laughs> oh, buddy pal, you do not want to brawl with me. You do not know how strong my arm is. Boom. That's right. You better leave her alone, pal. Unfortunately, the brawl bugged out and the quest didn't finish afterwards. 
In addition, we've now got this weird bug that makes our character grunt every time we power attack, which is annoying, but I guess we'll get over it. While we're in Whiterun, we decide to discover the Dragon's Reach map marker because we'll need to fast travel there later. We then fast travel back to Riverwood and begin making our way to Bleak Falls Barrow. Because we don't have access to the keyboard, we can't really take any shortcuts. Usually, I just swim through the river and jump up the side of the mountain, but swimming requires the W key and jumping requires, well, jumping. So we need to stick to the main road and throughout this challenge, we need to make sure that we're avoiding anywhere that requires swimming or jumping. 10 minutes of grunting later, we make it to Bleak Falls and thanks to our Khajiit Claws, we can one-shot most of the people here without a problem. Further into the dungeon, we encounter a more problematic enemy for us, a Frostbite Spider. If a Frostbite Spider poisons us, it prevents us from regenerating stamina for 4 seconds, making them pretty much the rock for our scissors. Thankfully this room is pretty small and the Frostbite Spider is pretty big, meaning that even without being able to move, we're still able to take it out. We then punch Arnold out of his bindings and give him a good old pat on the back, and as thanks, he gives us the Golden Claw. Okay, Feindal, I trust that you're not going to step on this trap and kill me. I'll go ahead and quick save just in case, but I really trust that you're not going to step on that trap and kill me. <gasps> okay, you just, uh, you did half of the job right. And you know what? I'll take it. Okay, we have a little bit of a sticky situation coming up. And by sticky situation, of course, I mean swinging axe situation. You know, we got enough potions. I think that will be fine. Time it perfectly. Yep. Dodge. Dodge it like a boss. Like a boss. Expert dodge. Okay. That actually wasn't too bad. Thanks to Arnold's claw, we're able to get past the weird freaky door. And after Mike Tysoning the Draugr, we grab this cool stone off his body. Because we discovered Dragon's Reach earlier, we're able to fast travel straight there. And we finally tell the Jarl about the dragon attack in a record time of just under four hours. He then mentions that his court wizard's got a quest for us, but it turns out that he just wants the cool rock we picked up earlier. We then get hot off the press news that there's another dragon attack, and the Jarl sends us out to deal with it. Thankfully for us, this fight is incredibly easy, as all the Whiterun guards are able to chip away at the dragon while we sit back and fiddle with our claws. Don't worry guys, I'll help out. I'm gonna help. No, stop moving. <laughs> stop running away. I'm almost here. Yes, that's right. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. We've done it. Four hours and 18 minutes and we've beat the first dragon. Okay. That is... I can't believe it. You're My keyboard's unplugged. I can't pause the timer. Okay. That is where I'm ending it uh, today. After day one, I realized something huge. A major oversight on my part. I thought we had all the tools to be able to complete the challenge, and then I realized this. Since we can't sprint, the whirlwind sprint puzzle in Ustengrav would be impossible. But then I realized another way. A way that I had never tried before, but it just might work. If we get all three words of whirlwind sprint, then we just might have enough distance to make it through the puzzle. So starting off day two, that's exactly what we set out to do. There's just one problem. One of the words is located in Dead Man's Respite, a low level dungeon near Morthal. The other one, however, is all the way over here in Volskij, a huge Nordic ruin with a recommended level of 24 and the dragon priest at the end of it. We are still level one. This is very bad for us, but there's nothing that we can do about it. So after talking to the Jarl about the dragon we killed yesterday, we take a quick carriage ride to the exotic city of Morthal. <laughs> Guys, we're uh, this like, um, the guy that punches once, right? With the anime? You guys watch cartoons, right? Okay, we're here. Dead Man's Respite. Hey, Feindal, can you uh, take care of this guy, please? Thank you. Okay, one punch at a time. 
Um, is that the one that we want to go down? Is that the only one that we can go down? Oh, shit. Dude. We need to swim for this one. We can't do this dungeon without swimming. Ah, just our luck. Of course, one of the like five dungeons in Skyrim that has a required swimming section is one that we need to get through. Like I said, we need all three words of Whirlwind Sprint in order to make it through the puzzle. Since we can't swim, this challenge just can't be completed. Or so I thought again. This is where I introduce you to the Whirlwind Whiz Word Wall Withdrawal, aka Word Skip. You know how when the Greybeards teach you a shout, they teach you the word and then give you the knowledge separately? Well, if you have one word of Whirlwind Sprint unlocked, then when the Greybeards teach you the second word, you can immediately use a Dragon Soul to unlock it. Since you already have the knowledge of the second word now, they instead give you their knowledge of the third word meaning that we would have all three words unlocked, bypassing the dead man's respite word. But there's a catch. I'm not even sure if this glitch still works. Skyrim's still being patched in 2024, and I've also got the unofficial patch installed. If either of these fix the glitch, then this challenge really will be impossible, but we won't know until we try it out ourselves. And to do that, we need to go to the level 24 dungeon. <sighs> Time for some more punching. But before we make the journey, we need to stock up on some veggie soup. Like I mentioned earlier, we're low on tomatoes. After a quick search online to find where we can get tomatoes. Wait, why are there so many tomatoes in the Thalmor embassy? And Proudspire Manor too. Are the Thalmor using solitude as some sort of ground zero for their nefarious tomato plot? And what about Jala, a citizen of Solitude that always sells seven tomatoes? One of Jala's voice lines is, an apple to keep you healthy, a tomato to keep you strong. Is she insinuating that the Thalmor tomatoes don't keep you healthy? According to tinyrituals.co slash blog slash tinyrituals slash angel number seven meaning, the number seven is a sign that you will have a, quote, spiritual awakening that will put you on the correct path in life, end quote. Is Jala an agent of the Tomatoist Empire? Or is she a mole on the inside, trying to reveal to the public using secret codes that the Thalmor are using genetically modified tomatoes to set us on the correct path in life, i.e. mindless drones ripe for the picking, much like tomato- Stop. Sorry, I, I don't know what's getting into me lately. So we buy some tomatoes from Jala, make a bunch of vegetable soups, and begin the long journey to Volskij. Okay, let's see how far we've gone already. We're probably like halfway there. Holy cow, we already... Wait, never mind. This is where we're going. A few hundred punches later, and we make it to the temple, which unfortunately for us is full of Draugr, bandits, and frostbite spiders. <laughs> Come on, please just die. Thank you. Let me take this Warhammer just in case I need to club someone to death. Unfortunately. Oh, I feigned all you mother. You just tried to get me killed right there. Please don't kill me. 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 Thank you. We get heavy armor here. That is awesome. We aren't splitting our XP gain between heavy armor and light armor. Now it's all heavy armor. Having full heavy armor is excellent for us. Obviously, we don't need the agility that light armor gives us, as we're pretty much just going to be tanking everything that comes our way. More importantly than the defenses, though, is the perk we get at level 30 heavy armor, Fists of Steel. With this perk, our unarmed damage is increased by the base armor rating of our heavy armor gauntlets. That means with our Khajiit Claws and Iron Gauntlets, our punches will be doing 32 damage. This is higher than the base damage of the strongest weapon in the game, a Dragonbone Warhammer. So with our rockin' new gear, we begin making our way through the dungeon. Okay, please. Oh, I forgot the button to open my inventory. That was close. We're gonna have a very hard time in the Thalmor Embassy. Uh, and 
Black Reach and the Forsworn place. We're going to have a, a hard time in a lot of places. Six hours on level two. You're doing great, sweetie. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Some lay low, consumed in shadow. Snake. Others stand tall, stretching their necks to see. Snake. While none live in this sacred barrow. Volk Siege. I'll go f myself. That is, that is, you guys can look in the VOD. That is exactly what I did the first time. Surely there's not like a, a trap right here, right? There's not going to be anything bad that happens whenever I grab this potion of ultimate healing, right? Whoa, a trap. It was loud as hell. Need a soup counter? We've probably eaten like 10 soups by now. Soup counter is a great idea. The problem is that I can't like increase the soup counter. I don't have a button to like... How am, I, how am I increasing the soup counter here? Dodging the arrows, dodge the arrows like a boss. No, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Oh, that was close. Healing! Uh, we already have this spell. Everyone starts out with the spell. Okay, we got another Draugr White up here. Says we're watching an episode of the challenge. <laughs> Swear to God, they're launching tomatoes at each other. Big tomato. Oh, nice job, Vandal. <gasps> Vandal, <laughs> your sacrifice won't be in vain, Vandal. Vandal, I'm uh, I'm really sorry that it that it came to that, but last time I saved was way too long ago. I'm not about to reload a save for that. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't run into too many more enemies. Uh, that we would need Feindall to help kill. Oh, hey, a bunch of enemies that we need Feindall to help kill. Never mind, I'm a boss. Great, we got we got Spider World here. We got the the Spider Men, right, guys? You guys like that movie, right? The Marvel movies. I'm a boss, dude. How long is this dungeon? We've been here forever. Okay, us against a Death Lord. This will go fine, right? <gasps> he almost just one shot me. He. He almost just one-shot me. Man, I really wish that we had a uh, feigned all right now. <laughs> no, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, holy cow. Okay, we might need a weapon for this. Huh. 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 It's, uh... Huh. Uh, we can do this. We can do this, we can do this. That wasn't, that wasn't the right one. That wasn't the right time. Come on. I think that we could get it. Let me try using flames instead. It didn't work out too well for us, actually. Let me try using flames instead. Uh, that didn't work out very well for us either. We do have food that we could eat. Eat all of our cabbages. Eat all of the all the stuff that we worked so hard for. I wonder if eating multiples of these will increase the timer or increase the health per second. It looks like a might stack. Let me try it. Let me just eat all of these. Okay, it does stack. Okay, we can do this. 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 Okay, let's eat all of our all of our vegetable soups. Uh, flames is definitely way too slow. Okay, this is how we do it. We have to stagger them at the right time. We can. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're about to get a level up. Oh, we're so close to a level up. Okay, we have a level up. That's nice. We can use that later. Oh, I am so good at this game. Holy cow. Oh, I'm a beast. Oh, I'm such a beast. Okay, let's put away 
Uh, the Warhammer. Oh my god. Holy cow, I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at this game. Um, unfortunately, we did just eat every single one of our... <laughs> One of our vegetable soups, so that's really bad. But we killed them, so, uh, you know, we uh, we win the battle. Let's hope that we don't lose the war because of that. Look at the map here. Oh, the, the exit's right here. Okay, after getting the shout, I need to immediately fast travel. Come on, come on. Okay, come on, read the word, read the word. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I did it in time. No. Okay, let's. Uh, no, I can. I can beat this guy for real, though. Wait, he sucks. Wait. By some divine miracle, the dragon priest was bugged out and didn't fight back at all. Honestly, if it didn't bug out. I think there would have been a near 0% chance we win this level of punch out. But a win is a win, and marking off the first word of Whirlwind Sprint is a huge step forward in the challenge. We just got two new problems now. We're going to need two Dragon Souls in order to do the word skip, and we're also fresh out of vegetable soups. So in order to get the crops outside of Whiterun to regrow, we fast travel between Solitude and Riften, passing about 21 hours each time. Fortunately for us, the Riften Stables are a very common place for dragons to spawn, and we managed to kill one, with the help of a few guards and horses. Yes! Thank you team for killing the dragon for me. Um, we can put a point into Whirlwind Sprint now. No, no, oh no, oh god no. Okay, so we've reached a bit of an impasse. Shouts can only be unlocked by pressing the R key, which for obvious reasons we can't do. However, we've got the system tab bound to a mouse button, meaning that we could rebind unlock to our mouse. My issue is that this is a very slippery slope. Once we rebind one key, what stops us from ruining the heart of the challenge and rebinding all of our buttons all the time? So on top of only being able to use our mouse, we have an additional goal of rebinding as few buttons as possible, with the extra stipulation being that we can only rebind buttons when absolutely necessary, and we have to immediately rebind it to the original button as soon as it's not needed anymore. Got it? I don't care. This is my challenge in my video. Originally, the rule was that we could unlock shouts, but only in Whiterun, which just ended up being an arbitrary rule that we changed later. So after admitting a small defeat in our ability to beat the game with just 5 buttons, we unlock the first word of Whirlwind Sprint, and oh boy, a sprint it is. Hello, and now we are enlisting Mercurio. Carol, Amulet of Talos, okay. Okay, we are like halfway there maybe? Maybe less than halfway there? I don't want you to talk to me, man. Get the heavy armor level up. Okay, heavy armor. We can finally get fists of steel. Unarmed attacks with heavy armor gauntlets do extra damage. Okay, now let's see how much you want it. Frost troll. We did it. We beat the frost troll. That's what I'm talking about. We got here in record time. It was only 20 minutes to get to the top of High Hrothgar. So that's so quick. Right, guys? Like 20 minutes? That's 
That's about how long it took you guys to get to the top of High Hrothgar, right? Now that we're finally here, it's time to see if all of this was worth it. After proving our aptitude by shouting out some ghosts, the Greybeards decide that it's time to teach me the second word of Whirlwind Sprint. Everything is on the line right here. We need this to work. Yes, he's going to teach us the word. Okay. Okay. And now we fast travel to Whiterun. Now we can unlock the shout. Okay. And now we head back to High Hrothgar. And if everything goes right, then they will teach me the third word of Whirlwind Sprint. Oh, please, 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 please. Okay, open the courtyard. He's teaching it to us. It didn't work. It didn't work. Oh. oh, 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 it worked. I was looking at our unrelenting force. It worked. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was looking at unrelenting force. Oh my God, it worked. The run is saved. It's saved. Oh, we can do it. We can do it. It's possible. It's possible. With the final word of Whirlwind Sprint, we're now finally ready to see if it's even possible to pass the puzzle using all three words. After making our way to Ustengrav and traveling through the dungeon, I'll go f myself. Oh, hey, saved. Wait, no, that's the start of the dungeon. Come on. After making our way to Ustengrav and traveling through the dungeon, we finally come upon the source of all of today's troubles, the Whirlwind Sprint puzzle. Okay, this is what it's all been about. No, no, oh, yes, yes, we did it. We did it, we did it, we did it. And just like that, we've overcome one of the biggest obstacles in this challenge. After grabbing the note of Jurgen Windcaller, we call it a good day of work and end our progress there. Surely nothing challenge ending could come up again in day three, right? Yo. Starting day three, I realized that we've got a lot of fighting coming up. Between the Thalmor, Forsworn, Falmer, and Alduin, there are going to be a ton of places where we could die. Surprisingly, I'm not a big fan of dying. So there's one final thing that we can do to improve our martial arts skills. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. No, I'm not talking about beating up Vilkas. Instead, we need to head to the dank tunnels of the Ratway. Oh, we just uh, we just killed a guy that was surrendering. That's uh, isn't that like really wrong? Okay, Gion the Fist, give me your fists. Gloves of the Pugilist. This is huge for us. Huge, huge, huge for us. The Gloves of the Pugilist are unique in being the only item in the game that has a bonus unarmed damage enchantment. The problem for us though is that it's light armor, meaning that wearing them would actually reduce our damage output. Interestingly enough though, the Gloves are one of the few unique items that can actually be disenchanted, and after doing so, we give our Iron Gauntlets an extra 3 damage. Well, 3 is better than 0, so we go ahead and slap the enchantment on. Oh shit. Guys, we, uh, we can't craft this. We, uh, oh, if you press R here, it lets you enchant it. But if you press the R button with your mouse with a dragon soul, it doesn't let you put a dragon soul there. That's weird. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm not complaining. So with that situation dealt with and a nice power spike literally in our hands, we head to Riverwood, where the note from yesterday told us to meet. Turns out that the local innkeeper is some weirdo obsessed with dragons, but she's got a lead for us at Kynesgrove. So we punch our way there, where we get to experience the most intense fight in the game. Yep, we get to attack him while he's still in skeleton mode here. No, no, he's, he's run away. Okay, we, uh, we made it so that he can't... Uh fly and that's a dragon 
Now that we've proven ourselves, the weird chick begins to explain herself. She believes that the Thalmor are bringing dragons back to life? Okay, sure lady. You know, people are going crazy nowadays with their conspiracy theories. However, she wants us to infiltrate the Thalmor embassy, meaning that maybe we can finally uncover their secret planes to take over Skyrim through a tomato-induced mass sedation event. She's got an insider at the embassy, and he's willing to smuggle in some of the things that we'll need. Shit. Okay, so minor problem. We're going into the Thalmor embassy with no armor, no scrolls, and no veggie soups. Pretty much the worst case scenario for us. Since this technically isn't necessary for us to beat the game, we can't rebind, so we just have to play the cards we've been dealt with, and we head to the party. Okay, well... No! No, I can't... I can't punch! I can't punch, I can't do anything! No! Oh, I can't whirlwind sprint. That kind of really sucks right there. Like, really, really, really sucks. Really, 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 really sucks. Take off my party clothes. This will be another required remapping of controls. Remap this to M4. Okay. Very unfortunate, but it's necessary. Once inside the party, we come face to face with the leader of the tomato cult, and we play it cool as we introduce ourselves. My name is Paul the Keyboardless. We then use a drunk to cause a distraction, and we leave the scene to retrieve all of our gear. At this point, we're able to attack again, which means that we're done stretching our legs and we remove the walk keybind. While we're here, we decide to foil the Thalmor's plot by taking all of their tomatoes from them, saving Skyrim like the hero we are. Unfortunately for us though, the only way out is through a bunch of Thalmor wizards. You guys are about to watch the sickest Skyrim gameplay that you've ever seen in your entire life. Okay, well, they heard me punch and now they're mad. Thankfully, my uh, my Khajiit claws are able to carry us here. Uh, it's the mages that I'm worried about though. We don't have any way to combat a mage that's just walking backwards like that. Um, we have no way of combating this, except for this. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, he's an idiot, and he just walked up to me. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's fine by me. Hooded Thalmor robes. I'm hoping that uh, despite us causing a scene right here, that if we wear the hooded Thalmor robes, it'll be able to to hide us from the, uh, the Thalmor that it's out here. Okay, let's grab another one. Let's grab another wine. Okay. Okay, our hooded Thalmor robes work. We are, we are hidden, or not hidden, but we're disguised. Okay, you kind of look like you're angry though. Okay, they are mad at me. Okay, let's take, her, take care of this magic guy first. The wizard out here wasn't much of a problem as he was backed into a corner and the one inside we were able to rush down with the help of whirlwind sprint. Down in the interrogation chamber we sneak past the guard that's down here and finally uncover the secret tomato plans. Esburn? Who the hell is Esburn? I'm not here for Esburn, I'm here for the tomato. Regardless, we take out the Thalmor guards that come to stop us and we dip out through the conveniently located trap door. We head back to Delphine and grab all of our beautiful vegetable soup, where she tells us to go rescue this Esbern guy. Nothing particularly interesting happens for a while now, so I'll be brief about it. We rescue Esbern, kill a blood dragon, and somehow we're able to punch our way up the side of Karthspire, letting us avoid all of the super strong Forsworn guarding it. We get the Blades armor set, which is a nice upgrade, and we learn that we need to use a shout to defeat Alduin. We then journey to the Throat of the World and talk to Parthenax, who tells us that we need to find an Elder Scroll. Thankfully, we know exactly where to go. There's just one problem. We need to get from here... to here, without falling into the water. Okay, and let's start our journey. Okay. Started off fine. We're doing good. 
Oh, we might just fell in the water there. Let's get on to this little island here. Oh, for a second I thought I was about to fall in that little, that little water puddle right there. Okay, another success. Uh, now we just gotta wait for our shout to recharge before we can make this this gap. Got the first little section done. Where am I going from here? I guess that I could stay on the side here. But is that fun? No. Oh, oh okay. That was a little, little bit close. Please don't uh, fall in the water when I do this. Oh, that was close. Oh, I get scared every time that I'm about to fall in the water right there. Um, do you guys think that I can make this? Yeah, I could go over there. It would be easy peasy. Or I could take this sick ass shortcut like a boss and and I would save so much time. <laughs> oh, I'm so good. Oh, oh, oh my God. I almost walked too far. <laughs> I was a little close. Success. Another another problem dealt with. Farty McOldfart here tells us that the Elder Scroll is in Blackreach, and thankfully for us, there aren't too many problems to deal with. This is fine. After beating the lights out of some dwarven machines, we head deeper into Falmer country. And surely it'll go super smoothly, right? Falmer? <laughs> I hardly know her. <laughs> uh. So you guys, uh, are you guys also as funny as I am or, uh, okay. We got some nerds shooting frost spells at us. There's no way that killed me. I'm 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 taking it with the refs with that one. We're we're reviewing that. There's no way that killed me. Normally the only kind of jobs you start start with blow. Oh, 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 oh my god, that guy scared me. Oh my god. Holy cow, dude. You did not need to to put your whole heart into that. It's not that serious. Okay, just a battle of the bronze. Oh, I got him. Oh, <laughs> oh that, well, that was close right there. A little bit, just a tiny, tiny bit, a uh, tiny bit close. Okay, we got a a lot of a lot of enemies. Uh, that's fine. We'll just. Uh, just gotta dodge all of their attacks. People shooting arrows at us, that's not good. We got this chucklehead coming at us. You know what? That's right. It's an edgathon. We're 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 killing Alduin today. Okay. Open the Tower of Mazark. Where did I think that Mauricio just doesn't fuck with me anymore? Okay, let's do this. Let me just press buttons until a new button appears. Whoa! Guys, guys, it's the, it's the, the, um, the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Holy sh- So with the Elder Scroll, we head to the Throne of the World and read it, letting us learn the shout to defeat Alduin. Whoa. Thankfully, they also give us the knowledge of it, meaning that we don't need to rebind anything, and we're set to fight Alduin. This fight is kind of a piece of cake. The only potential problem we could run into is if Alduin lands too far away for us to attack, but he lands pretty much right next to us both times and we're able to kill him without ever being in any real danger. That's Alduin. That's Alduin in record time. It only took us 13 hours, but we finally killed Alduin for the, the first time. But we killed him. With Alduin down but not out, we punch our way to the leaders of the Stormcloaks and Imperials to negotiate a peace treaty. Turn up, look. That's your that's your distant cousin right there. 
Uh, all right. That is the end of day three. Tomorrow will be the last day. We will succeed in the fight against the keyboards. Yo. Okay, let's uh, let's jump into it. We need to go talk to Esbern to learn the uh, the shout to call Odaving. I don't want to use up a uh, a vegetable soup right now. We're kind of running low. We uh, we should try and farm some a little bit. Um, okay, let's go prepare the trap to uh, to summon Odaving. This is our final final vegetable soup bake off right now. Okay, this is surely enough to uh, to last us throughout the rest of the game, and we could uh, we could use them for health later if we need to. And let's go call this this dang dragon. You're telling me where to find Alduin? Huh? Hello, Odaving. I'm ready. Take me to Skuldafen. Okay. Here we are. This is the the final stretch. No going back now. We now only have our fists and our vegetable soups and our shouts but that's it uh this is fine <laughs> this is fine no we're we're fine we just take it one punch at a time uh you know what we'll go ahead and kill you holy cow <laughs> we are so strong what i'm really hoping for is that uh with all three words of whirlwind sprint that we'll be able to skip the dragon priest fight i'm not entirely sure if we win a uh, a fight against a dragon priest especially if there's a bunch of enemies nearby just in case we can't win the fight against the dragon priest uh i'm gonna go ahead and kill the dragons so that they won't be a factor later okay both dragons are dead the rest of the draugr they won't be a problem we just gotta hope that we can whirlwind sprint past the uh, the dragon priest, uh, and the answer to this one is dragon, dragon, dragon. Because I'm a genius, I'm a genius. I know everything. Uh, okay, the answer was not dragon, dragon, dragon. Guys, you see that red dot on my mini map? I uh, I don't think that uh, we're able to make it out without the dragon priest. <laughs> okay, the dragon priest is definitely waiting for us. Let's uh, let's see how this dragon dragon priest fight goes wait why does this guy spawn with half health okay just uh just don't kill me please fight him kill him kill him kill him oh no <laughs> oh, oh oh my god oh we were so low okay thankfully i've banked a level up i've banked a level up just for this uh situation uh i don't really like that he's just running away from us holy cow that's a lot of damage uh, let me go ahead and use a scroll. I'm hoping that this will be able to kill. Oh, that does not... Oh, that killed! That killed! Uh, okay, we uh, we need to go get the staff. Dragon Priest staff. Okay, let's uh, let's jump in this portal now. And we start the, the final, final leg of this challenge. Okay, we're here. We're starting the long journey. Oh, hey, there's Alduin. I'm coming for you. Holy shit! <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, dude. I got my own problems. <laughs> okay, who are you? And now we just wail on him. We go ham. We are one one million punch man. Okay. Okay, we did it. We did it. Soon. Thank you for your for your passage, you guys. You uh, you new viewers. You guys can't make fun of me. My Twitch chat makes fun of the way that. I pronounce something, certain things. Like when I say, I can't punch. I can't punch. I, ca I can't punch. I can't punch. Why can't I punch? No. No, I can't shout. I can't punch. No. 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 Right at the end. No. So all of you close your eyes. Hold your hold your hands in front of your closed eyes. Keep your eyes closed. Nothing nothing's going on. Nothing nothing weird is going on right now. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Make sure your eyes are closed. Nothing's going on. Okay. Wait. Keep your eyes closed. Maybe five, 
Five more seconds really quick. Just one quick second. Okay, your your eyes can be opened. We uh we used some uh incredible tactics. We used our our deep in-depth Skyrim game knowledge. We were able to uh to glitch the system and we were able to advance the quest uh without walking. Okay, we're here. We uh we need to shout away this fog. Clear skies, let's get that active. Let's keep clearing these skies. Uh let's get Dragon Rend ready. And let's snipe them. I'm a beast. I'm a beast. We we need to make sure that we don't die here. That would be embarrassing. Um, I think that our Khajiit claws uh, mixed with... Oh, we ran out of vegetable soup. This is embarrassing. Give me one second, Alduin. Holy cow, look at our stamina regen now. <laughs> uh, and as long as this fight doesn't take more than 12 minutes, then we're fine. Okay, we need to use Dragon Rend again. Okay, land, please. My uh, my biggest fear with this fight is that Alduin would land like really far away every time and we would just wouldn't be able to catch up to him. Okay, okay, and time. That's time, that's time. 14 hours, 13 minutes, 47 seconds. That is Skyrim, mouse only. That's how it's done. Oh my god. Huh. Holy cow, you guys were here. You were here. And that's how you beat Skyrim using only your mouse. Kind of. With an asterisk. But not really, but technically yes. Thanks for watching. I just fart underwater? What just happened? Oh, I'm drowning.